Big mistake that is really common is taking too many omega-3 fatty acid supplements. We use omega-3 fatty acid supplements to correct hypoglycemia and it works great. So we're using these supplements to push a person more insulin resistant. We're using it to make those cells less receptive to the insulin so that the insulin isn't some big bully and is gonna push all the blood sugar out of the bloodstream too quickly, too hard. We understand that everybody in the medical world is all saying, oh, take all these omega-3. All the type two diabetics should be taking pounds of omega-3 supplements because they're anti-inflammatory. It's a really big mistake. They are anti-inflammatory in a Petri dish. But as they push a person more insulin resistant, the body's going to make more and more insulin and that higher level of insulin is going to become inflammatory. So it works in a horrible way. It's not something that you want to be doing. Number four is too many seed oils or vegetable oils. This is a really big problem. The inflammatory response that these oils can create can mess with the receptors for insulin and make a person more insulin resistant. And the problem is that these oils are everywhere. They're in all the processed food. It's really hard to get away from these oils unless you're eating real food that you're cooking at home. Most restaurants are gonna fry all their food in these horrible vegetable oils. Even worse is somebody's like, oh, I'm eating healthy, I just had a salad, but their salad dressing is loaded with these vegetable and seed oils that are all pro-inflammation. So they're very inflammatory and creating a lot of problem and affecting your cell's ability to be receptive to insulin and pushing you more towards insulin resistance. We're gonna have to get a little bit sciencey here for just a second, but it's living with what we call a catabolic imbalance. Now, Dr. Emmanuel Rivisi helped us understand that the body has a natural circadian rhythm at the cellular level. So during the day, our body should be in a more catabolic state where the cells are very good at creating energy and breaking down tissues so that those tissues can be rebuilt. And during the night, our body should move into a more anabolic state where the body is very good at resting and rebuilding and repairing tissues. So the body can be renewed. If a body is stuck in this catabolic state most of the time, it appears that insulin becomes less effective. If the insulin is not as effective, then the body will need to make more insulin to do the same amount of job that a smaller amount would have done before then that insulin is gonna stay high a lot longer and then the cells are going to become less receptive to that insulin. 